Yay, okay. Hi everybody, it's Donna Cummings from Wellsboro Early Head Start with my son and helper, friend, friend, yes, friend, Carl. Mm -hmm. Yep, my friend Carl, who's going to help me today. We're going to do nursery rhymes. Nursery rhymes are a very important and fun part of childhood. Experts in literacy and child development have discovered that children who know eight nursery rhymes by the time they're four years old are usually the best readers and spellers by the time they're eight years old. They're the precursor to reading. It fosters the child's ability to hear and blend sounds and spell phonetically. Rhyming sounds make it easier to learn about sequences of letters. Hall, fall, ball. It expands your imagination. The cow jumped over the moon. Think about a child who hears that for the first time, imagining a cow jumping over the moon. Um, rhymes follow a clear sequence of events. Usually, stories have a beginning, middle, and an end. They improve vocabulary. Abstract concepts like the cow jumping over the moon or twinkle twinkle little star talking about high like a diamond. Singing helps with self-esteem and remember we've talked before kids don't really care how your voice sounds. They love you even if you can't carry a tune in a bucket like me. Um, rhymes help us move. We can get up and dance and sing and most importantly they bond us with our children and they are fun. So we have a couple of activities that we're going to do today and then I'm going to talk about the uh, packet I'm going to leave with you and um, I also have a book of nursery rhymes. So I'm going to leave you with um, some felt so that you can make a simple felt storyboard that um, your kids can play with and you can play with with your kids. Uh, Carl was working on coloring. Can you show them what you were coloring, buddy? This is Hey Diddle Diddle. So um, it has little dots so that your older kids can work on cutting or it can help me cut, you cut. And then, um, thank you. And where's your markers? Carl, where's your markers? Yeah. So here's the markers. And again, we can work on colors. Yep, orange. And black. Purple. Mm -hmm. So remember, kids learn colors in three steps. The, oh, that's green. It matches your shirt. The first step is matching. Find a color. Yep, blue. Find a color that matches your shirt. And then the next step, that's orange again. Next step is, I have a purple one. Can you find a purple one? And then when we really know that a child knows his colors is, can you hand me the purple one? Because they have to go through their brain and figure out all the colors till they get the right one. But anyway, all I did was we cut out, that's that fine motor skill. I cut up a little piece of um, the felt. And then can you get up, show them the glue, Carl? Where's the glue, buddy? See the glue? Yeah, okay. And then we glued a little bit of the felt on the back of our cow. And then we can tell the story of, hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon, the little dog laughed, ha ha ha, to see such poor, and the dish, Ran away from the spoon. So we're labeling things, we're naming things, and then 
we leave it with them and let them tell the story and learn. I'm going to also give you another um, Hey Diddle Diddle piece of paper to use the scissors and cut out and make a mobile for some of our littler ones. So, um, yep. So that they have something fun to look at, making sure that it's up high enough so they can see it, but not grab at it. And, um, and again, you can use it with your older kids and, and color and, and have fun and play. So there's also going to be a nursery rhyme game for your older kids, asking them some questions. Um, would it Peter Piper pick? Peter Piper pick to pick, pick, pull, pickle pet. Say that five times fast. I can't even say it once. Um, another one that I'm leaving you is Ba Ba Black Sheep, Heavy Winnie Wool. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. And there's one, two, three bags. And you can color and have fun with it. And then Little Miss Muffet. And I know some of my friends love this one because little ones love to be startled. And so here, little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. And the sign for spider, because a spider has eight legs, spider. Spider, can you make the sign for spider, Carl? Make the sign for spider. Yeah. Here we go. Spider. And wiggle your fingers because we're a spider. Yep. And that's another favorite childhood uh, nursery rhyme. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. His sheep was white as snow. And sheep like we're cutting sheep like we're cutting so yep sheep sheep so um here is our book on nursery rhymes and colors Car carl is coloring so hey diddle diddle and other nursery rhymes i thought this was really cute hickory dickory duck the mouse ran up the clock the clock struck one, the mouse ran down, hickory dickory duck. <laughs> Dong. See that cute little mouse? Okay. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened ah. Miss Muffet away. There's your spider. Thank you, Carl. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to have such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Polly put the kettle on, kettle on, kettle on. Polly put the kettle on, we'll all have tea. 
Pussycat, Pussycat, where have you been? I've been to London to visit the Queen. Pussycat, Pussycat, what did you do there? I frightened a little mouse under the chair. And this is one of our favorites for a long, long time because we can do it. Itsy Bitsy Babies with their feet. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and roll it and mark it with the B and throw it in the oven for baby and me. Ready? Star? Do you remember Star? This is the sign for Star. Star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. And row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. And the last one in this book, it's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He went to bed and bumped his head and couldn't get up till morning. So I hope you have fun with our nursery rhyme activities and I will be dropping off some things so that you can do the crafts at your home. Miss you all, see you soon, bye. <laughs> Turn it up. Thank you, buddy. Oh, reach, reach, reach.